<laughs> hey yo, this thing is gonna piece up like in abundance. Okay. Uh what up though? On this on this Saturday. Is it Saturday? Saturday, Sunday, whatever the case may be. I wanted to address some things because I've seen that hey, everybody's been talking about my life. Hold on. What you say, baby? Hold on. My bad. And my uh my notifications just went off, but I did want to address some things, but I wanted to wait for people to come in the room a little bit so I can get it done, one and done. This will be the last time um, that I'll be addressing it. No, baby. Uh, what's up, Tanya? Good morning. Good morning. So I'll just wait for a little bit, people. I will be addressing my live. I will be addressing the El El Evangelist vow. I will be addressing everything, and this will be me saying goodbye to Jaguar Right. Um, I, I watched the live and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get into it. Um, and it's necessary that we do because people have so many questions and they have an opinion about me. And you know, <laughs> either to, am I a victim or villain or, or hero, or whatever, I'm all of them. I've never been claimed to be a victim. All I asked was that to stop interfering in my real life. That's it. I, I don't care about them thumbnails. I don't care about all of that. Um, hey, Chris, it, it has been a lot. It has definitely been a lot, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give people a little bit more time um, to come in because you know, once you go live and then you start getting and you start talking, people come in and wanna know um, what's going on. But I do think it's, a, it's appropriate for me to address some things I was over on uh, what is it the crown family they have a channel now for I guess just the family OKP and his chat and I answered some questions um, and we came to an understanding uh, I mean it's just time to let to let bygones be guy bygones and just let everything be what it is uh, so we we on wait a little bit but how while we're waiting I just want to see how everybody Saturday went. Oh, and I'll all my address. What's her name? Miss Joan and and everybody. Um, so who, who should I start with first? Okay, so I just got off. Oh, hold on. That's how I start the door. All right, people outside, y'all can. Okay, all right. Um, I you just caught the end of Danny Lives, I, I caught the end of it too. Um, you know, like. I really don't watch the content, but I, I am. I have a whole different opinion, and I look on things um, now. Oh, you, you get what I'm saying? I never said TJ is a victim. I am a victim. Um, all I said, I just want the stalking and the harassment to stop. And there's a few things that I wanted to address that Jenny had. Danny, I said Jenny. I'm sorry, that Danny had mentioned. Um, not bad. T, it's been a while. I want familiarity with your new name. I hope everything is good with you. Um, Tonya, it, I'll say this, I'm better than what I was mentally, emotionally. I'm definitely better than what I was, but at the end of the live, hey, Miss Deborah, um, I caught the end of the live and I, Fast forward and rewind it a little bit, and I just picked up on, on pieces of it. Um, I heard that she did a poll about me apologizing to Evangelist Val um, on the Crown family. I don't know the name of it, but Evangelist Val and I, uh, we talked and we squashed it out. She understood how I felt um, because when I got up there, and she called me a bitch for no reason, for, n for none. 
And that was just me defending myself. Um, you know, as women and as adults, we were able to apologize to one another and we were able to move on. And that was it. First of all, I'm not jealous of anybody. Never been jealous. I, I, I'm not interested. It, it's not about money um, or anything like that for me. Uh, it's just the mere fact, like, leave my personal life alone. Like, you can say what you want on this app, but when you're getting people to come and all of that, like, people are tired of me saying it, but it's the reality of it. It is like, the reality of it. Um, so that's my issue. Not that you're making the content, not that you're, you're getting um, your support, because that's what it's supposed to be, right? If they enjoy the content, they support it in any kind of way um, that that they do. I'm saying to the point of you're just really in the field in my real life. And like you said, oh, I had you moving and you had me running uh, to the phone. Absolutely, you did. But I popped you because you wasn't surprised. You you mean you wasn't expecting me to pick up that phone. You were surprised. You even said it on your life. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You wasn't expecting that. And we laughed and we moved on, even though, Danny, that you have made it my life hard for whatever reason <laughs> for whatever reason you know um definitely good to hear hi miss katina so that's my issue um you could do your commentary and all of that but danny you are the one who who have doxed me and you know i, I at first i let it slide and i let it go and, and let it let it go but th the last time it was like enough is enough and like you just did it on your live now again saying where my location was right so i look up the laws and then if i go on and to say oh i want to press charges on you and all of this and then you're smart and people want to throw up uh what is swords and all of that but it's okay for this lady to keep do uh doxing my location because she don't like the choices that I made. So, you know, me addressing that, like, I, I don't care about your pictures that you have on me. I don't care about all of that. But, you know, speaking with legal aid, it is harassment. It has turned into harassment now. It, it, it definitely has turned into harassment. And enough is enough. I've never made a live about Danny, but that one time after she made it about me. I've never called this lady out. I've never done, done any of those things. Um, you did what you did. You felt like you were vindicating Naisha and she came in your chat and you supported that. That's fine. You 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 did that. But you had to continue to keep on going on and on like let it ride. If your your main focus in, is on Jack, go, go on rush Jack. That's that's what it, it's been about. Secondly, I've been traveling ever since I was a little kid. Even before I got on this app, I traveled my family and, and all of that. And I still will have that goal. That is still a dream that I, I'm going to have, but I'm never jealous. That's why I'd say everybody on here, that's why I don't strike people because they play the content. That's why when people ask me to come on their panel, I do. E even if the content is bad or good or indifferent. So jealous ain't, ain't never been me. Ain't, ain't never been me. Ain't never been me. Um, they are lines that shouldn't have been, been cross absolutely i agree with that um so now what so so now what so the second person on the list um uh, that i will address would be i don't even know the lady name over there on the crown family on the panel she asked me a question about the social security number and all of that it wasn't that she asked me that question because people have asked me that question um from the beginning, from the beginning. Uh, hold on, let's answer. Now what? I'm lying. Thank you for the list. Kaisha. Yeah. Drop the fucking link. What? No, don't come over here talking to me like that, Jack. Just drop the link. For what? You are not. Don't do it. Link. Don't do it. 
I'm trying to help you. How are you trying to help me, Jack? Just drop the fucking No, mic. how the fuck are you, you trying to have you dragged you, but you have dragged me uh, you have dragged me through and through oh, and now, and, okay no no jack i was over in my own corner in my own little chair minding my own business but every time that i attach to you and then you and then and then you say what then you say you i'm gonna dog walk you to your to your death okay all right and jay and you got money of wealth the fuck exactly exactly uh, exactly it's not it's not just the fucking cc's it, it's, it's not just it's all you motherfuckers in this sector it, it for real for for real for real, and they made a val valid point that Jack, I have defended you through and through, through all the shit. I felt, I felt guilty about the shit that Aisha said to you about Giovanni. You get what I'm saying? And you know, people want to talk about loyalty. People want to say all, all these things, and enough is enough. Enough is enough. I dropped the link, but then what? You show me your titties. You going to titty bar? You gonna titty bomb me too? <laughs> just, just let me be. It, you know, you talked about my eye. You said I was a crackhead. You said you're gonna dog walk me to my death. Uh, once I get over it, that you don't want me. But I do recall that you harassed me, and you had your bitch ass nigga harassing me too. And then everybody keeps talking about money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. My true support comes from watching my videos. That's where a lot of it comes from. You, a lot of it comes from. I can't even make two cash apps per lie. Uh, uh, that's like two dollars. It's not even about money. When I talk about things that's inspiring, inspirational, moving on, doing all these other things. I try the muck thing. I do these other things, mind my business, and yet people still come around and still got my name in their mind. It's just ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous. So leave me the fuck alone. You made your point. You got on that blue couch. You, you try to line me up, but you have continued on doing, and all I have done is been kind to you, for real. When everybody else wanted me to dog walk your ass, and I didn't. Even when I filed the white warrant, I didn't go through all of it with it. I, I could have, and I didn't. Um, when the, my cell phone that Kimberly, like, you know, Kimmy, let's address that too, because you called me today, and then you played a 52. But you you sat and you lied. You lied. You want to call Jack a liar and all this stuff, but you you, you was in on it. You, you was okay with telling the detective whatever you told him to try to aid in me being arrested. Like, you're whack. You're whack. That shit is weird. That shit is weird. And, and who else Who else was it <clears throat> that we were talking about that else is on the list? What's her name? Miss Joan. I, I never had a problem with her. You get what I'm saying? If I misquoted something, I don't have a problem with backtracking and, and talking about it and all of that. But when I invited you to my panel, it wasn't out of disrespect. It was for us to have a conversation and get an understanding. It's like, y'all want to keep me there. If I, I give you the olive branch, okay, we can talk. It's a problem. I'm the villain. I'm, I'm a victim. I'm this. I'm a piece of shit. I'm all, I'm all these things. Yes, definitely a bomb. Okay. <laughs> So Kimmy, like you on my phone, you say this and you talk and you feel away. But when I call you out and then the mere fact that you said to me, oh, you dox me, you, you dox me. Uh, and, and, you know, you're talking about Naisha, like first and foremost, how can you compare yourself to Naisha? We were never in an intimate relationship. So, but you had your son check a woman, try to anyway. Try to anyway. Because I said your name was Kimberly Smith, but you didn't have a problem telling the detective your name was Kimberly Smith with trying to interfere in my real life. 
I'm the only one out of this sector that I have to take accountability to something that I did to someone that we did not even know that you guys existed until we came on here. And people want to say, oh, Jack did this and Jack did that and Jack did this. But yo, truth of the matter, Naisha exposed me. And I don't give a fuck how nobody feel about it. I was in Dallas a whole week, a whole week before, a whole week before. But just because it wasn't like what Danny say, oh, the receipts, receipts. What receipts do Naisha have with her mouth and them, and them, them tears that she had? And that she was pimping her pay. But I'm a bum and all this. But she got married for a green card. Like, I'm saying. That's okay, though. Who else was on the list? Who else was there else on the list that everybody else had an issue with or have concern about what I've done or what I'm doing with my life or how I should, should be? Have you collected info to uh, pursue a case if you choose? Yes, I do. I have all the evidence that I need on, on some real shit on Danny. Yes, because enough is enough. It's it's enough. If I can't, how can I get my footing if you keep harassing me? Animal service is showing up to take my cat for what? For what? Why? And even Danelle, you know, Danelle was there from the beginning, and she knew what I experienced with Naisha behind that scene. Two, and you're frustrated because I, I let Jack come on to the chat, and now you're frustrated, and now you want to say all these things. And Danelle, you've had shared uh, intimate details and stuff with me, but I didn't get on here and say those things about your family or your children or anything like that, because why? When I made that statement about your mama, I apologized, and, and that was it. That was it. Yeah. You know, and then the Kim folks and y'all went off and y'all did this and then you apologized and you came back and you did all this. It's not a thing of people trying to control my life, but I'm capable of making the decisions that I feel like that are best for me. And, and I, I get judged for that. I'm, I'm, I'm finding my way. I'm finding my way. But everybody keep trying to make this out to be like a financial thing. Oh, TJ would love to go to Jamaica. Absolutely, I would. That, that was something that I wanted to do even before Jag and I entered in a relationship. If you want to call it a fucking relationship. I, 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 no, I, I no longer subscribe to being belittled, harassed, slandered, um, all of that. All of that from, from any and everybody. But when I get off and I sound off, if there's a problem, but the, the topic is true um, about SA being lied on. I know someone who was in, in prison for the rest of their life because they were lied on about um, attacking a little girl that was SA, right? It has the conversation going, going around. I misspoke, I apologize, but was it okay for her to call me that? But no one, no one called her out for that. See, I don't need anyone to defend me in, in that sense as y'all CCs do and y'all stick together and y'all run the narrative and run the line and you do all you do all these things. I'm just existing. But I'm 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 never jealous hearted because I want everybody to win. That was the whole point of me aiding when people were online. When when okay Pete said okay my friend needed help, and he said that was his friend, and people were donating. You know, people want to say, oh, you put your name on a stranger, a stranger bond. Yeah, you donated for a stranger to get out of jail because somewhere in your in your mind and in your heart, you wanted to help and you wanted to give back. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Make it, make it make sense. It's, and like I said, it's the selective outrage for me. You tell me, I, you know, Danny, you said, oh, you, you don't fight for your baby girl. Why did you think I deleted those phone calls that Jack had recorded to begin with? Did, did Naisha tell you that I talked to her? And I told her, like, yo, chill. I'm trying to figure it out. Let me, let, let, let's, let me try to resolve it. Like, but was it okay for you to get up there and tell this girl that's why her son was dead? What, but since it's not recorded, it doesn't it doesn't make it true. So 
you say her son was dead. That's why her son was, I don't know if this is going to be monetized. It was okay. So she said to you, okay, my son, this happened to my son, but at least my son is not a pedo. Two wrongs don't, don't make it right. What, what business was it that of anybody online who I slept with? You said your joke, your 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 beef was with Jad, but not once did you really come for Jad. And I don't even know how you looked up like that as an opportunity. Like you said, oh yeah, when y'all wake up, y'all gonna die. You're gonna be exposed. And you thought it was something that it wasn't, but for the moment you didn't even stop to think, like, yo, we was helping her out. We helped her out with the room. We fed her. We did all those things. <laughs> Peace, peace, Bobby. Peace, CJ. Been a while. And peace and love to everybody in the chat. Thank you. Peace, love, light, and abundance to everybody. Um, Joe Black, TJ, respectfully, grow up. Um, I am grown. I, 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 I am grown. I'm speaking from my point of view, my experience, what I went through. And you're telling me that I need to grow up because I have an opinion about my life. And what was done to me, I, I, you grow up, Joe Black. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Everybody else can go around and say what they want, down to the dike on the bike, and to all of that. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Then, you know, you tell me, oh, somebody said, well, uh, what the fuck did she say? I don't even remember what she said. Joan said, well, we were here in this in, in this area and we were doing content and all of that. Okay, and I understand that. Like I said, the conversation everybody is playing. You know, uh, I go live over there with Tulsa Live. People plan it, you're talking about it. That's fine. I, I don't care about it. But all that wishing that ill on me and, and hatred and texting and emails, like, let it go. Let it go. I'm never saying it's okay for anybody to lie or slander anyone because you were rejected. It's the same thing, how Naisha did me and what Jag is doing to Sip. But it was okay for Sip to harass me too, right? It was okay for him to sit on that panel with Jag. It, it, it was okay for him to do those things and I said nothing to him or about him. It, it just doesn't make sense. Has Sachio Yoga piqued your interest? I think you would benefit greatly from one of those practices. No disrespect, Intendant Kimfo. Absolutely, Bobby. Um, yes, I used to do yoga and I have gotten back into my meditations. I had Reiki bowls, um, all of that, walking. And that's what I'm saying. I am working on restoring. Uh, the peace in my life. I am. I am. You know? Hi, baby, you hit baby in the chat. Oh, you say, Bobby, I'm sorry. It says, at Joe Black, get the fuck out of here. I guarantee you, you got to have issues in your real life that doesn't play out online. <laughs> you, BS is hitting people are human. The fuck? That's right, Miss Katina. Uh, it says, you're the one, you're the only ex still on YouTube crying, shut the fuck up and move on. Joe, have you not been following? When I was moved on, did did you ever hear a phone call where I was calling this lady? Do you even see a, a, a thumbnail or a title where I say, fuck you, Naisha? I'm just saying. I, I had two both of them, two, the both of them. Nobody's crying, but I can state my opinion about my life because it does say Ty's journey. I'm the only ex. These are the exes that were harassing me. I, I, it's, it's just weird. Uh, pause for the cause. Can we at least make two cash chat? Thank you, Miss Katina. For that, uh, Bobby. Okay, and who else was on the? Who else that I wanted to address that everybody was asking me about it and saying that uh, I need to.
And, you know, you're absolutely correct. I'm going to go back. You know, I had my spare moments with, with Miss Joan and Ty. That was a very great idea, uh, life after Jag. Absolutely. I have the commentary for it. I have I have that for it. But in my, my mind, and everybody that's that famous or so YouTube famous or anything, I genuinely thought this lady needed to her as it so because that's what we're supposed to do responsibility no it wasn't but I did and I, I did I did I did um, I appreciate you uh, for the cash app. I, I do. And I'm going to read your comment and what it says. It's for me to remain grounded in all that I do. Mind over matter. Absolutely. What's done in the dark shall come to light. If she can go around and she can expose people and all of that, it, it's just your turn. It's it's just your turn. It, it's next. I get on here. People say find a job, but YouTube. This is a little gig. It it is a little gig. If you <clears throat> hit the like, <laughs> if you watch it, it does help. It it, it does help me get on the algorithm to my next step. To to what's next for me? I I have done more positive content than negative content. But all that do is get ran through. All that do is get pushed down. And all that do is just keep screwing up a, a lot, a lot of hate. Joan, you said you were there from the beginning. You know that when I said I had an interview and, and everybody helped me, I went to that interview. I got the job. I was working. What was next on my list? To get another phone. So I can do content when I'm not on Wi-Fi. But how can someone continue to move on if people are affecting your real life? It's not about money. Because when I say I trust in God, I do. I do. Wholeheartedly, I do. When it comes down to my children and you said, oh, you didn't do this. Like even Kimmy, like Kimmy, you know that we had a conversation in regards to my children. Naisha, you know that I was still talking to the kids every day. You know that the grocery were sick. You, you know those things. Welcome. It's all, it's me, straight facts. Okay. Hey, I've been Bush Baby for a while. You can't hear what I'm saying. Can you hear me now? Because uh, you, you know I'm in a in a in a in a spot. Can you hear me? Because this is my last time addressing it, and I'll and I'm going to continue to move on. When I do my dancing, when I do the mukbang, when I'm laughing, when I'm singing, when I'm this, when I'm that, that's an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. When I'm a villain, that's an issue. <laughs> I've been saying that I don't, I don't want to smoke. Leave me alone. Do all this. I could be hateful. I don't want to. I'm, I really just want to get my footing back. So if I'm asking you to stop interfering in my real life, I think that's respectful.
another thing when when in regards to my relationship and wifey and and people saying oh i would prefer to be with jack over why you <laughs> over wifey i think that's very insulting um because things that are, are sacred to you you hold close to it you you why would i go online for her to be attacked and all these things why would i want to be with someone who really have drugged me through through it has affected my mental health, my physical health, my children, and and all those things. Am I a fool? I have been. I have been. Yes, I have. Who haven't? I just I just don't get it. It's not about um, what else did Danny say? Oh, the thousand people and all. That. No, but have you ever been in 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 a position where people coming at your neck for what? And you haven't haven't even bothered them? What, what, what else was it saying? I throw rocks and hide my hand. No, I don't. No, I don't. And I haven't. So if I go weeks and weeks and I'm over here talking about other things and, and talking about my goals and all of that, but yet people are continually being negative about me, I don't have a right to defend myself. I don't have a right to uh, defend myself. My auto is cutting. Uh, uh, let me try it again. Okay, Renata. Now, what you ain't going to do, what you ain't going to do, I'm going to read it out loud. Miss Katina, why so hostile? It was genuine, a question. No shade or hatred. And watch the B word, because you're the dumb B, working for a dumb B for free. Anyway, TJ, you ruined your life. Renata, pick a side. Now, you come over here calling my mind dumb and all that, but you're the dumb bitch. You're like, we're just talking about women empowerment, and we just answered the fucking question to you, and you sitting here being disrespectful as fuck, calling her a dumb bitch. Like, you're weird. Like, y'all really need to do better, but that's what I'm saying. When I start going off and talking shit now, I'm this and I'm that. For what? I answered your question. Why is there hostility? Because she has been there to experience what I have gone through, what I have gone through, have had my back, has been supportive. Just because you don't like me, you get what I'm saying? Somebody else don't? Like, don't come over here fucking being disrespectful to my mind. Period. Period. I ain't been disrespectful to you, and she has it. She did not call you a bitch. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Where is that? Let's 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 go back to to the comment. Where? where? Where is it? I'm looking. She came in. Peace. TJ respectfully grow up. That's your black. Um Where? Where did where she called you a bitch at? She did? Okay, so I'll go back and I'll read it. And and that's fine. Um let me see. You said I can't read. I can't read. My screen is cracked. Like that's just the, the stupid shit like that. That's just the stupid shit like that.
All right. So, okay, she did. She said, stop trying to be a messy bitch. I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I didn't see it, but she did because you are over here being messy. She she's defending me. Like the fuck everybody talked about OJ oh, ain't defending you, but one person defend me. Now that's an issue. You are being messy. Like the other night when I straight came to the live, you you straight came out the gate being messy. You being messy. But then now you just say, oh, I can't read and all this shit. But when somebody retaliate and hit back, it's a problem. When I'm supposed to lay down and die or I'm supposed to just take the abuse because you don't agree with the fuck, that doesn't make sense to me at all. At all. Tawanda, what is it? Tawanda Jones, you're welcome. I'm in the bushes. But did you at least hit the light, Tawanda? I, I'm, I'm serious. Did you hit the light at least? And so those on the replay, are you at least going to watch the commercial? Because I still do that. I watch people's commercials. And <clears throat> talking about giving back, I still support it. Um, SDW and OKP and their subscriptions and all of that after all of that. And then I'm back on my channel. But yeah, you send people over there, oh, take those numbers, unsubscribe and, and all that shit for what? For what? Everybody else want me to have integrity, but what about the integrity of y'all? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So this is the last night that I'll address anything else. And if you got questions, please drop it because I, I, I after this, uh, it's, it's done. It's done. I've been apologized to Angela's vow. She apologized to me. Next. Next, I deserve to, to be disrespected in our first encounter with one another. I was raised to respect my elders, especially those in the name of God. That's a calling on your life. I sure did, Tawana. She's been messy. The two. But say the two of the ladies squashed squashed their beef like grown women, absolutely. And I guess Danny, you didn't you missed that too, right? You said you do your research and you do all this this without receipts, but you didn't have your receipts on that. Night she came in your chat. Night she said that I was her wife. You didn't check on the receipts on that, but you ran with that narrative too. You did. And, you know, as far as to not, and my experience with that, and you're like, oh, a CC, a CC, a CC. I knew that he had, he was able to assess some things, uh, but it was okay for her to take the kids and hide the kids from me and, and not be able to see them. It was okay for her to block me and all of that. It was okay, even in, in private, that I, I acknowledged my wrong doing to her, not just on this app, just throughout the relationship, period. And the groceries did get paid for what they asked for. Like I asked her, when Aisha, what is it that you need so we can work it out, so we can find a middle and a ground to that. You get on live and you proceeded to say that you hate me. You, you know, so I, I don't, I don't understand that. I, I, I don't understand it. It's like y'all, it's like oxymorons, a jumbo shrimp, uh, your shoes and socks. Like, <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, I, hopefully, we should be done. Not condoning the bullying or harassment of you, never allow the enemy to study you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Okay, Miss Katina, I was only blocking, backing at Renata Jones because CJ was calling her a liar and I see Renata comment. She wasn't being disrespectful. She might have showed up late and she was asking a genuine, I never called Renata a liar. I don't know this lady for me to call her a liar. Did not call her a liar. Did not. I'm just saying, was it okay for her to swing on me and I wasn't so was to swing back. That's it. That's all. But that's water under the bridge because we told each other. <laughs> I said my apologies, and she said it to me, and she and she actually see me. That's enough for me. It, it's enough for me. And I was only back in time. See how that works, right? Reciprocity. It goes. It goes both ways. Renata, I don't know if you and uh, what's her name, Tawana, know each other in real life. But you, Miss Katina and I, we do. We do. So to be upset at someone who has received uh, support and backing is just crazy. Now, here we go with this. Let me address this. Grace. Grace them with olive branch, but be humble enough to know when to take your energy back and move accordingly. Absolutely. And that's all this has been, right? Like when I spoke to Kimmy earlier today, she's like, you want to smoke and all this stuff. And like, I don't, but I also don't want to keep being dragged. And for what? What? So you can make your content? For what? And I'm just supposed to dismiss you, you not having integrity? Two, come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Now, <clears throat> to you, Reese, Risa, Tisa, how do you claim a child on your taxes you don't support? Now, do you know how taxes work? Because it's always about the previous year before. And that's another thing. If Naisha is not an attention seeker or she's not being malice, why continuously is the business still being online? Did I support her from from the day that I took her home with me? Absolutely, I did. Cause she for six months. I, I don't understand. So it was okay for her to lie to me and tell me that, oh, you know, this whole baby girl, all I needed for X, Y, and Z, and it was just a lie. We could have been open and honest about a conversation which she chooses to go online like she has and, and 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 talk about it. How is she different from Jack? And I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just curious. Oh no, okay, Miss Swan. I appreciate that. It's no fight. Like I say over here, we, we invite everybody's opinion and it's a safe space and an understanding um, too. But when, when you care about somebody and when you have love for them, you, you're going to speak up. All the conversations Miss Katina and I have had, and not just her, even what? Who else? A lot of y'all from the beginning. TJ, run, run, TJ, run. TJ, do this. Say, TJ, do that. I've taken a lot of people's suggestions. I've considered those. But do you think that's easy for someone that care about you, that people and strangers come in and have a lot to say? So it's okay for, for people to say, oh, TJ, you were wrong for this and you were wrong for that. But I, I don't I don't get I don't get that. TJ, you apologize and I apologize and I still get everybody's ass to kiss. I'm damn if you do, damn if you don't. Here, folks, I'm saying this because I love you. Don't allow yourself to fall in the cycle, break the pattern. Absolutely, Bobby. And that's where I am. And that's why I say tonight will be the last night that I address any more of it. Was it? It was it. Was I with the shits? Yeah, I said I was. 
Was I going around singing? Welcome to the circus. Yes, I was. Because that part was entertaining. Yes. When I realized that it was it, it has gone too far, we were already at the point of no return. We were, we were already there. I was already there. I could only speak for myself. I was already there. Defeated. Never thought you were fighting. It's a conversation. Okay. I, it got a little hostile. Yeah, it got a little hostile. I wasn't taking up for anyone. Okay. Uh. Here, here we go. Believe in hearsay. What the F? Why are you worried about the Ty's pocket? She took care of her children that weren't, that wasn't her, hers for 11 years. I think Naisha could hold it down for five minutes. Right. What's the issue? Because it was six months. And she has additional two children. Yeah, you don't even know how much the refund was for. It wasn't even it wasn't even enough to, to shake a tree. <laughs> I didn't mean to preach and annoy y'all, but my spirit felt the need to oh, you're not annoying. I let everybody speak. You're not annoying. That's the whole the whole point of the lie to have other body everybody's opinion and what they say. I don't reject that. Because people are outside looking at, I honor that. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Say how you feel, but I, I don't want to be dis, disrespected in the process either. I've done that enough to myself. I've done that enough. Y'all seem to forget when Aisha first got on here, before the bitterness came in, she said she was a cat one. And I kept saying cat, and that's so funny. Now I have a cat. <laughs> cat woman that speaks volumes about tying her character. I'm just saying. It's all good. I'm glad y'all made up. Okay. I, I'm glad you got to understand it. Because it's it's not. It's, it's no need for us to go back and forth and, and all of that. For what? For what? What did we gain? Oh, and Miss Cat, I did. I've sat on that. For months, her her doxy, my deceased grandmother, in my family's home, and my brother, but that was okay. That was okay. So now that I speak up and I tell you, I say what happened and how I felt about it, now it's a problem for me. crazy uh speak your mind just be respectful as you have and thank you for participating uh, absolutely katina ma'am it's like every time i i hope on the live ish always be getting deep i'm sorry y'all no it's okay bobby i like the conversation i like stimulation it's 222 i definitely do i don't love with malice intent I want to see all the people win. We need to get back. We need to get back to the village mentality. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's so funny because Baby and I was just talking about that and having the support. And it takes husband and wife and all that. It takes a it takes a village. Lift one, reach one, help each other. I, I just I just don't understand it. If you don't like it, then move on. I, I'd rather be in love. I'd rather, what is it? To hurt you, whatever that goes. However that saying goes. Um, it does get deep. Don't apologize. It's all good. Absolutely. Um, please hit the light and dust your feet off at the door. Mama Francis, girl, you high as fuck. I did smoke a jacket. Is that is is something wrong with that? And your point that I smoked a J, and, and then you come in as someone's mother. 
<laughs> it's funny. It is so funny to me how quick people are so to judge. Again, that that go out here, okay? You know, and <laughs> and the cheating thing and the bumping and all that. First of all, obviously, you must so know the effects of cocaine. It will have you hype. It will have you on ten. I, I'm not those things. But why do you feel like I have to justify whatever mood I am in? It's my life. And your point is. Is your name, is your mama name Francis? Y'all weird. It's just weird. I'm a veteran and a single father of two. One thing about me, I'm a firm believer in uplifting the queens because y'all are creators. If y'all are unbalanced, everything doesn't flow. And people don't realize that. And people don't realize that. Uh, that's why I was saying me be jealous or hateful or, or feel away or threatened. Um, no, no, not when it comes it comes to those things. No, is it annoying? Have I had enough? Yes, it's been ten months later. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Hey, Scotty. Uh, and Bobby, I appreciate you. Every time that you do come out on the panel, you're always uplifting and inspiring. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate those in the bushes who are genuinely rooting for me and, and praying for me and and, and 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 all those things. Those things matter. Uh, but tonight is goodbye to Jaguar right in this sector. Uh, I've answered the questions. Nobody else have anything to say. I think I covered um, everything that needed to be said. Shame on me. What is it? Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm about to get up off this live. <laughs> I'm about to get up off this live and enjoy this time with my woman. Um, but do y'all have any more questions before I go? Mm. I I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't understand how you're really was it vigilant? And allegedly smoking weed, but anyway, you say you believe in the circus a million times, but you have allowed Jay to pull you in every time. Mama Francis, I have acknowledged that. I've acknowledged that. So, so now what? I just acknowledged it. Are you not listening? Are you not? Okay, and the vomiting and all of that, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, I don't like people bullying others, especially people who don't look for confrontation. Okay. It's weak pack mentality because they can't survive or function without with it. What would say without others? Absolutely, and, and that's. It's not that I'm weak. It's not that I'm a victim. It's not any of those things. But when people feel like they justify to do it for, for whatever, and I haven't said anything to you, haven't even, even acknowledged you, don't even watch your content, don't even strike the channel, don't even say anything hateful, but yet you continue with me. It, it's just crazy, Francis, but you're over here being messy and, and all of that. 
weird. Everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves affection and companionship, especially coming from the person that's your person. I've said it numerous times that she is. Just because I don't want my new relationship exposed, I have that right to protect it in any bully, weak ass, hiding behind. Now, I know for sure. Um, to do. Like when Cuba was in the chat that night about hugging a tree and all of that. Yes, I do hug trees. I do stand barefoot. I do lay in the sun. I do do that because of the grave disease. I do have a vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> you know, um, um, meth <laughs> and that induced a thyroid store. How's that possible? But that was okay to run with the narrative. Sorry on that BS. Have a good night. <laughs> um, did you forget the phone call Jack just released when you talking shit about everyone blame Jack? That's why people no no, no fuck skimming. Um about the phone calls that wasn't released. What about that? Why did Danny dox me? My last time I got doxxed, that phone call wasn't happening. Why did she dox me? What was her purpose of doxing me? Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Sorry, Ty, these people are weird and probably the ones that are church at that at church every Sunday, Wednesday, and everything in between. Um so I'm about to get up off of here, for real. But I wanted to address everything that needs to be addressed from the live that I made. Uh, yeah. he did it. So recently, when I do be minding my business.